Today was the last day of Las Vegas's typically biggest convention. 40,000 people attended the Consumer Electronics Show this year. That is a 75% drop compared to 2019. Originally scheduled to run right through Saturday, but it's ended a day early for pandemic safety. More than a dozen companies, including GM and Google, had pulled out of in-person participation. Well, automaker has turned to Las Vegas to show how the industry is going green. Companies from around the world are showcasing their electric vehicles at CES. Joe Moeller was there. He's live just outside the convention center with a look at it. Joe? Well, COVID-19 really took a toll on CES this year, but despite that, automakers came here to Las Vegas to show how the auto industry is changing. Maybe down due to COVID, but companies are still using it to make headlines around the world. Vietnamese automaker VinFast unveiled its electric fleet that could come to the U.S. in the near future. Turkish automaker TOG pulled back the curtain on their concept vehicle. We are right at the beginning of this transformation. We are born into that. Yuzhan Karakish came from Istanbul. He says this electric car is also showing off the future of auto technology. It's in that sense more than a car and the ecosystem itself where we believe the living rooms and the offices will be very similar to the living spaces in these smart devices. Chrysler unveiled the fully electric airflow concept that could hit the road by 2025. The company also announcing a fully electric portfolio by 2028. General Motors attending the show virtually made waves online and on social media unveiling its first electric pickup, the 2024 Silverado. Really overall, the pickup truck has got um, a ton of technology that we've designed into it. Nicole Kratz is the chief engineer of the Silverado. 400 miles of range is a huge number, and so um, the anxiety around range and whether or not you'll find a charge station. General Motors is building EVgrow and other charge stations. GM is taking reservations online for its release in mid-2023. General Motors is very well poised to um, it be competitive in that space. As electric cars take over the show here just this week, it was announced Nevada will get $38 million from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Now this money will go to expanding the electric charging network throughout the state, and it will be happening over the next five years. Reporting live outside the convention center this evening, Joe Moeller, live, local network.